Owen Ronayne here for Joe.ie. I'm in London about to dig my teeth into the new Ubisoft game, Far Cry Primal. Ooh. The new Far Cry game has gone back in time to 10,000 BC. So it's gonna be like the Flintstones, except if you played as Fred and he got his pet saber tooth tiger to disembowel the lad from the neighboring tribe. And instead of driving around in a roly-poly foot-powered car, he's using the bones from animals he slaughtered to craft new weapons to stab people with. You begin in the prehistoric land of Oros, which is kind of like the land before time, except with no dinosaurs. That's right, there's no dinosaurs in this game because man and dinosaur never coexisted and you're just gonna have to get used to it. There's lots of mammoths though. I managed to have a chat with Thomas Simon, the game director, who is without a doubt the most French man I've ever had the pleasure to encounter. You're gonna be a Stone Age hunter, uh, fighting for your survival and to uh, reunite uh, your lost tribe. We, we start exploring all that uh, what the Stone Age could bring us in terms of uh, ideas, uh, new weapons, uh, type of uh, clothes, type of animals. Uh, it was quite exciting actually. You play as Takar, a member of the Wenja tribe, who are a great bunch of lads, and you have to help them rebuild their village by recruiting new settlers and fighting off other tribes, like those Udam pricks in the next town over. The game really shines once you bump into a dodgy shaman who's dishing out a potion that'll let you become the beast master. Then you can tame wild wolves and other animals to do your dirty work for you. Eventually you'll link in with your spirit animal, which is an owl. This lad's a real ruthless bastard though, not like those sound owls Don Conroy used to draw. You can use him to survey the area and scout out enemies, and then what does he do? He drops ruddy big old timey bombs on them. You wouldn't catch Hedwig doing that kind of cheeky crack. The game looks like a breath of fresh air for the first person genre, which is, let's face it, very busy. There's no cyber tech or laser guns or sexy robots here to distract you. The landscape looks really beautiful, and the day night cycle adds a really nice extra dimension. I'm looking forward to finally digging my claws into Far Cry Primal, so keep your eye on joe.ie for the full review once the game drops on February 23rd.